Spinning at a fortunate distance from a middle-aged star, our planet Earth carries on a delicate balancing act. The land, water and air that coat our planet's surface continually absorb or reflect the sun's light. Life has evolved in the thin layers of atmosphere, oceans, lakes and streams. Now, humans are releasing solar energy stored below the surface long ago. Burning natural gas, oil and coal freeze the ancient carbon once captured by living plants into the modern atmosphere. This carbon dioxide and other gases absorb solar energy before it can return to space, shifting the global energy balance. The temperature has begun to rise, changing the Earth's climate. Here in British Columbia, climate rules. It shapes our land, our lives and our choices. The rainy and mild West Coast climate nurtures verdant rainforests. Cold, dry, whistling mountain winds force alpine plants to creep along the ground or huddle into cushions. Long, snowy northern winters favor animals with thick, warm coats of fur. The hot, sun-drenched Okanagan landscape supports outstanding vineyards while the cold, snowy heights thrill skiers and snowboarders. Throughout British Columbia, summer and winter temperatures have risen notably since 1950, as much as three and a half degrees Celsius in several interior communities. There are signs that these climatic changes are beginning to transform our landscape. The glaciers are melting. Insects, such as the mountain pine beetle, are denuding vast areas of trees. The cherished western red cedars are showing signs of stress caused by warm temperatures and strengthening summer drought. Sea levels may be increasing. The combined effect of rising ocean and local rising or sinking of land varies, but over the past hundred years, sea level has risen 12 centimeters in Prince Rupert and 4 centimeters near Vancouver. Over the coming century, the swelling of the warming ocean and water from melting polar ice caps is expected to increase sea levels by half a meter or more around Vancouver. Climates have changed before and not always slowly. Sometimes it can take a million years or sometimes only a decade. Studies of ancient climates and landscapes in British Columbia reveal that only 9,000 years ago, when it was warmer and drier than today, sweeping grasslands covered interior regions where forests reign now. Fires burned widely. Small lakes were just puddles or seasonal mud holes. Forests extended into mountain heights where alpine meadows rule today. Ancient tree rings and lake sediments show that these climatic adjustments may occur rapidly over just a few decades or even years, resulting in striking changes for lake and forest ecosystems. Using global climate models, we can investigate what our future may be like in only a generation or two. Scorching hot summers could be the norm for the interior and winters without frost or snow on the south coast. Drying summers will favor drought-resistant trees like Gary Oak and eliminate some forests from lowland dry regions in the south.
Forests will claim the high alpine slopes as the snow line ascends and glaciers melt. Intense storms and long droughts may speed some of these changes. Rising sea levels could slowly alter the shoreline and remake the map of coastal BC. The decisions we make as we go about our daily lives will affect just how different the future will be. No matter what choices we make, climate change has begun the journey to a different British Columbia.